Venezuela, Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, is a country, in northern South America. The country has the shape of a triangle and borders the Atlantic Ocean to the north. The Caribbean Sea is part of the Atlantic Ocean. Land borders are shared with Brazil, Colombia, and Guyana. The longest land border is shared with Colombia. Venezuela has a population of 30 million people. Caracas with 3 million inhabitants is its capital. Spanish is Venezuela's official language. Government type, Federal Presidential Republic. Religion, more than 95% are Christians. Literacy, 97% of the population over 15 years of age can read and write. Currency, Venezuelan Bolivar. National symbols, the national colors, yellow, blue and red, and the Trupial, National Bird. National Day, July 5th, Independence Day. National Anthem, Gloria al Bravo Pueblo, means in English, Glory to the Brave People. History, the first indigenous people inhabited the land already 15,000 years ago. The first settlement by Spanish explorers was established in 1520. The name Venezuela is said to originate either from the Italian word for Little Venice which is Veneziola in Italian that was given to the area by the Italian explorer America Vespucci due to the stilt houses at Lake Maracaibo or from the indigenous people that called themselves Venezuela. The country was a colony of Spain from 1522 until 1811 when Venezuela declared independence. The country only became fully independent in 1829, when Venezuela separated from Gran Colombia. About 300 islands belong to Venezuela, these are located in the Caribbean Sea. Most of these islands are small and inhabited. The climate of Venezuela is tropical, hot and humid, as well as more moderate in the mountainous regions of the Andes Highlands. A flight to Caracas takes about 17 hours from London slash UK, or 8.5 hours from New York slash USA. Venezuela is more than twice the size of California slash USA or a bit larger than Germany and Spain combined or a bit smaller than Nigeria. Venezuela is one of the 17 megadiverse countries in the world. Venezuela's highest peak is the Pico Bolivar with 4979M-16335 feet Venezuela does not only have very high mountains but is known also for the tepuis which are very unique table-like flat mountain landforms. The most important and largest river system in Venezuela is the Orinoco River. The Angel Falls, also called Salto Angel, are the world's tallest waterfalls with 979m-3211 feet and are located eastern Venezuela. Lake Maracaibo is often named the largest lake of Venezuela, however, it is more exactly an inland sea or bay of the Caribbean Sea. Lake Maracaibo is world's most active area for lightnings. Powerful storms at Catatumbo can reach up to 28 strikes per minute and often happen in the evening or at night. Some of these lightnings can last throughout the night. Besides the fascinating waterfalls, rainforest and 43 national parks, there are some other awesome landmarks and attractions in Venezuela to explore. Los Roques is a chain of islands in the Caribbean Sea with about 250 coral reefs. There is a turtle sanctuary and lots of picturesque spots for swimming, snorkeling and diving in turquoise-colored clear waters. The mountain town of Merida is known its beautiful colonial buildings as well as for the mountain dreams, Montana de los Suenos, Fun Park which is an attraction enjoyed by many families. The peaceful landscape in northwestern Andes region is a wonderful escape for many city dwellers. Esfera Caracas 360, in English called Caracas Sphere, is a famous sculpture by artist Jesus Soto. The sculpture offers optical illusions when walking around it. The Soto Sphere is seen as a symbol of the capital city. The town of Coro is the oldest colonial town in Venezuela. The cathedral was built already in 1525 and the town was the first capital of the country and still houses many colorful colonial buildings. The Medanos de Coro National Park near the city of Coro is famous for its huge sand dunes. The sand dunes can reach over 40 m 130 feet in height. 
The statue of the Virgin Mary of Trujillo is the highest statue in the Americas. It is taller than the Statue of Liberty in New York. The region of today's Venezuela was settled already about 15,000 years ago. Among the indigenous population of the area are the Timoto Cuicas, the Kalina, and the Mariche people. Caracas is the largest urban area in Venezuela and houses about 3 million people. Most of the Venezuelans live in the northern and western highlands. Maracaibo and Valencia, which were the capital city for a short time in the 1830s, are other large cities with more than 2 million inhabitants. Venezuelans enjoy being out and about such as in Caracas East Park, where there is also the Humboldt Planetarium, a zoo and a children's museum with a replica of the caravel of explorer Christopher Columbus. Education in Venezuela is free for children up to 15 years, however, in rural areas many schools do not have toilets, windows, proper classrooms. In remote areas access to a library or computers are something most children only can dream of. In Venezuela it is prohibited to manufacture, possess or sell violent video games and toys, still Venezuela is one of the most dangerous countries to live in. The country is going through a bad crisis and many people are fleeing the country as poverty and crime is very high in many places. The country has the highest murder rate of the world. The death penalty was completely abolished in Venezuela in 1893 and the maximum jail sentence is 30 years. The country has large resources of petroleum, natural gas, and minerals such as iron ore or gold. Venezuela has the largest oil reserves in the world, about 18% of all oil reserves are held by Venezuela. The first oil field was drilled in Venezuela in 1914, however, due to the falling oil price, the economy suffers tremendously as almost all of Venezuela's exports are crude oil and refined petroleum products. The petrol price in Venezuela is the lowest in the world due to having high petroleum reserves. Venezuela also had the highest inflation rate in the world for several years. Prices in Venezuela doubled every 18 days. Now, with the Russian war in Ukraine, and thus having limited oil supply by Russia on the world market, inflation in Venezuela has decreased as Venezuela is able to export oil for higher prices. To counteract the hyperinflation, the Venezuelan government has introduced digital tokens in 2018. These tokens are called Petro, a cryptocurrency similar to Bitcoin. The name Petro refers to the backing of the currency by the National Petroleum Reserves. The main agricultural crops in Venezuela are sugarcane, corn, rice, potatoes or fruits such as bananas and pineapples. The main trading partners of Venezuela are India, China, and the USA. The national bird of Venezuela is the trupial with its orange feathers. Venezuela has a rich wildlife. About 8,000 species of animals are endemic in the country. Endemic means that the animals originated and always lived in this country or region. Venezuela is one of the richest countries in regards to biodiversity which refers to plants and animals. Most of the mammals and bird species can be found in the tropical rainforest south of the Orinoco River. Among the fascinating endemic mammals are jaguars, giant anteaters, sloths, lizards, howler monkeys, and capybaras. Capybaras are the world's largest rodents and grow up to 1.3 m 4.3 feet capybaras also live in Argentina. Manatees can be found as well as Amazon River dolphins. The crocodiles in the Orinoco River are among the largest crocodiles and smaller than the Nile and saltwater crocodiles. Orinoco crocodiles have a long and narrow snout compared to other crocodile species. The critically endangered Orinoco crocodiles grow up to 6.6 m 22 feet. Arepa is a highly versatile cornbread made from ground corn dough or pre-cooked corn flour. It is commonly consumed in Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. In Venezuela, arepa is eaten at any time of the day, 
throughout the whole country, and across all socioeconomic groups. Pabellon Criollo is a traditional Venezuelan dish consisting of black beans, white rice, and slices of steak cooked with tomatoes. The word pabellon means flag, referring to the colors of individual components, which are arranged to resemble the national flag. Often referred to as Venezuelan tamale, halaka is an elaborate dish usually served as a part of a Christmas dinner. It consists of a stew-like filling, usually made with meat, which is wrapped in cornflour dough, placed into plantain leaves, then tightly wrapped and boiled. Sopa de Mondongo is a term that is widely used all across Central and South America when referring to a hearty tripe and vegetable soup. The star of the dish is beef or pork tripe, the rather tough edible part of animal stomach which is cut into smaller pieces and cooked with other ingredients in a flavorful broth. 